How's it going, Fleetwood? My name's Teddy Cayley. And I'm Sydney Guida. And today is Friday, January 19th, 2024, and it's a day six. Interact Club will meet on Monday, January 22nd at 2.30 in room 102. Stop on by and see what they have to offer. There will be snacks. Conspiracy theories are all over the place, especially with the internet at our fingertips. Our conspiracy theories class teaches us just how we can avoid such dangerous ideas. Here's Brady with more. Conspiracy Theories is a Fleetwood elective that teaches students about intellectual debate and how to question evidence. In this class, students will learn about popular American conspiracy theories, how they began, the people who believe them, and the evidence against them. Some of the conspiracy theories the class goes over are 9-11, the assassination of John F. Kennedy, and the existence of Bigfoot. The class is taught by Mr. Gaston, who also teaches TV media and introduction to the Holocaust. So conspiracy theories was a course that was actually suggested to me by a former student of mine named Frankie Tolerico. Uh, Frankie and I used to talk about conspiracy theories every day, and he asked me if I'd ever consider writing a course and, and teaching a course about conspiracy theories. So I approached administration and asked him if I could uh, design a course uh, around media literacy and research techniques. and use conspiracy theories uh, to teach those techniques, and they okayed it. Conspiracy theories is an important class that helps students notice logical fallacies and identify misinformation, two things that are becoming more and more common in our modern world. Reporting for Tiger TV, this is Brady Whalen signing off. Thank you, Brady. Make sure you keep a clear head because not everything you see on the internet is true. This next message is for the seniors only. Seniors, please check your Class of 2024 Google Classroom that was sent out to you by your advisor before break. You were sent a link about a month ago to fill out a diploma name information. Please complete this form ASAP. Thank you. Here at Fleetwood, we held a volleyball event that helped raise money for Minithon, which is an organization dedicated to help ch cure childhood cancer. Here's Dominic with more information. The Student Council has prepared another fun half day for the Fleetwood Area High School. The first event was the Pia Teacher Competition. For this, each teacher involved had to raise money, and the two with the most money would be pied. Mr. Casolo and Mr. Weiss won. There is Mr. Dreisbach making sure Mr. Weiss had his fill. The next activity would be the Volleyball's Tournament's continuation since the fall segment. There were four games for the winners and three for the losers from last time. All of the money collected will go to the Minithon fundraiser for Four Diamonds, a charity for the treatment of childhood cancer. Throughout the volleyball games, there were many exciting moments that had the audience on the edge of their seats. All of the teams played well with some close calls. What made my team lose was definitely our on-court communication. We need to learn to talk to each other a little bit better on the court. But it finally came down to two teams. On Your Head claimed their position in the finals when they faced off against sixth period gym class and nice aces when they defeated Easy Pass. When the two skilled teams finally went up against each other, there could only be one winner. In the end, it was Nice Aces who achieved the ultimate glory of volleyball through teamwork and effort. Um, I think we talked really well together. We were able to communicate and we knew what we needed. We also saw like the teams on the other side of the court, like we knew where they were and they weren't, so that's where we aimed for it. This is Dominic Barnett reporting for Tiger TV. <laughs> Look out for more Minithon information as the school year comes to a close. Students interested in the Reading Hospital internship for next year should apply online. For more information, stop in room one. Now it's time for sports. Let's toss it over to Brody to see what's happening in the world of athletics. Thanks, Teddy. This week in sports, there isn't much. In the NBA, the Bucks are on a downfall with, without Giannis, losing by 30 to the Cavaliers. Unsurprisingly, the one-seed Timberwolves beat the Pistons. Lastly, Pascal Siakam gets traded to the Indiana Pacers. In the NFL, the Buccaneers beat the Eagles, ending their season. The Bills beat the Steelers, continuing their season. In Fleetwood, the boys' varsity are 12-2. and two. That's it for sports this week. Back to you, Ted. Thanks, Brody. Now it's time for our weekly segments. Here's Ms. Diodata with our beloved Random Ramblings. What is the worst movie you've ever seen? The worst movie I've ever seen. Oh. 
This is hard. Uh, I hate all scary movies, so any scary movie I refuse to watch. I specifically remember watching Insidious in like sixth grade, and I remember being like petrified of going to bed at night because I, I hate scary movies. Anything with zombies, I do not enjoy either. Thank you for that, Miss Diodata. We can't wait to see what topic you want to bless our ears with next week. Wow, the snow's really coming down, isn't it, Sydney? It certainly is. Let's check in with our weatherman, Dan. Thank you, Sydney, and good morning, Fleetwood. Up here enjoying your nice, cozy fit day today. Remember, don't be slacking or lacking because we've still got classes to attend. This morning, snow should wrap just around after lunch, about two to three inches of snow, looking at next week's temperatures as well. Finally start to warm up on Tuesday, and it looks like some rain might follow later next week. Enjoy the snow this weekend. It won't be sticking around too much longer. Now back to you, Sydney. Thank you, Danny. Well, it looks like that's all for Tiger TV News this Friday, January 19th. We'll see you next week with some more happenings around the school. Yeah.